We love lady bosses on this show. Women that get it done, don't compromise, <laughs> and are just simply amazing. And one of our favorites on this show is our current Mrs. North Dakota International 2020, Melanie Iverson. And Melanie is back today. Welcome yes, back to the show. Thank you. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit more about what uh, She Overcomes is doing for Women's mm -hmm. History Month, which yeah. is big. But first, in case people are not familiar with your platform, mm -hmm. can you talk a little bit about what She Overcomes is? Yeah, so we invest into women. We create ecosystems that empower and equip female entrepreneurs and founders and leaders um, to really succeed, to, to be the best that they can be. Uh, in the marketplace. Okay, and so I know we have researched some too, but female founders have increased by the U.S. by like 21%. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> except in North Dakota. So that was, yeah, that was actually the bummer that we, that was just reported on in November was that across the U.S., 21% uh, increase for female founders, except in North Dakota. Since 2014, we've actually seen a decline in female founders, which is fascinating because we have such an entrepreneurial community. So we just need to do some work, and that's why she overcomes us here. Uh, yeah, why? Um, why do you think that we haven't? And and how are you going to help reverse that? Do you think? Right. Yeah. So um, I'm not entirely sure why. It's it's actually kind of confusing to me personally, um, because I've started three companies in North Dakota. I think we're very friendly to women entrepreneurs. So there's something happening right now. Um, I spoke recently with a venture capitalist, and what she said to me was that women don't see themselves as leaders. They don't see themselves as a founder or as a CEO. They're just like I'm. I'm hustling I'm getting my job done and I'm making sandwiches for the kids like they just don't it's a it's an identity thing so what we're doing with she overcomes is we're vetting women who have already started a business they're already an entrepreneur or a founder and um, we're investing capital uh, we're investing resources training one-on-one -on -one venture business mentorship with them so that they can feel the confidence to say yeah this is who I am this is what I'm doing I think having that community and mm -hmm. uh, support around you is huge yeah because I think a lot of women already have that idea back here right but they're not yep. acting on it right yep yep so we will create what we're doing is we're creating cohorts of 15 women um, we will be going fall of 2020 to 2021 with our first cohort and um, and that's what we'll be doing is sitting side by side collaborating with each other I think it's the death of competition <laughs> we all do better when we help each other so that's really what we're doubling down on I love that and you have some events coming up as well that we want yes. to talk about today yes we do I'm so excited we have got our founders breakfast that's happening at wild terrace cider on excuse me uh, April 14th um, this is for founders, this is for um, local business leaders who, who see that there's a problem here, who want to invest in women, that want to continue to create that ecosystem that's very fr friendly for women leaders and founders. Okay, and so, okay, 7.30 to 8.30 in the morning, it's a breakfast. Yes. Um, yep. How do you get tickets? And you kind of said who, but could anyone really go? What if anyone can come? Yep. So we just launched, we've got right now, we've got our website. It's our temporary website till we get something just a little fancier. But you can go to sheovercomes.co um, for the event page, but you can also search it up on Eventbrite. We've got an Eventbrite link. There's tickets you can buy. It's just $25 a ticket. If you just want to come and be a part of the conversation, everyone is welcome. We'd love to have you. Okay, and how about the Elevate Women launch? Yeah, so we are attracting more lady bosses. We want these women who have the idea, who have already started something, to join us and apply for the cohort. We are already taking applications. You can see, you can go to the website as well grab the application there, but we'd love to just come and have conversations and see um, just who's out there, who's interested and who wants to participate. What kind of feedback have you gotten already from people? It has been overwhelmingly positive. You know, I, I th sometimes when we talk about women, there's a tendency to be like, you know, damn the man, but actually, <laughs> but actually like a lot of the men and a lot of the business owners that I'm talking to are just as bummed about the statistics as we are. And they're like, what can we do to help? So I'm just inviting more of them to come and say, yeah, be a part of this. You have a daughter. Let's change the culture of North Dakota for your little girl. It doesn't have to be down with a man. And, and if you're a feminist, it doesn't mean down no, with a man. No, not at all. It means you're just a, a strong woman. And I love that, too. We should have men and dads, girl dads, yes. you yes. know, help take part and celebrate and, and lift other women up. So yes. 
I yeah. love this. It's such a great platform. Thank did you, you know? Did you ever imagine that you would have this platform <laughs> to? You know, this must. This wasn't just a new idea for you. This is something you've always been passionate about. I've always been passionate about women and women seeing themselves the way that they really are, seeing themselves as leaders. And um, but no, I, I never knew that I would have a platform like this. I never thought I would ever wear a crown like this. But it is a huge opportunity and just a huge blessing to get to do this. Um, and what a great time to be a woman in North Dakota. You're very inspiring. It's always great mm -hmm. to have you here, Melanie. Thank you so much, and we'll have you on again soon, I hope. Thank you. Stay with us. Coming up next here on North Dakota Today, we're talking about why it's so important for you to fill out the census.